Right. These, these fucking nerds now do that because all that hashtag activism where you like text hate all that worthless shit you do via Twitter that people do here. They now think that's the real world and like they're doing something. Right. Like I'm gonna take to Twitter and his job is mine. And like uh, I'm, I'm friendly with Rob Schneider and he lost that job Ooh. on uh, yeah. he lost that job on State Farm. You know that that insurance commercial with State Farm like he's doing that fucking. Uh, the copy thing. Yeah, like, so he's oh, yeah. anti vaccinate which is dumb, by the way, being anti vaccination yeah, oh, Enough of those people already. Yeah, but... Does he have kids? Some, yeah, he's got kids. Somebody, okay. But people got together to get him fired on, on Twitter. They got together to get him fired off of a, a State Farm insurance commercial. So, like, what is the good... For what reason? Because he does, he's anti-vaccination. Well, what is that? That has two different. No, they've struck a blow <laughs> for vaccine. They didn't did it something. Makes no sense, though. But it's like, what's the good of that? Was well, he going to be pro-vaccine now, and you're going to change everybody's mind with that? Like, all you did was make them more paranoid and more like, I, you know what I mean? Circle the wagons. As a parent of two small children, I can't imagine having him in the world without shots. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that. I, know I agree. It's dumb, but I don't see why you should lose your job for some fucking shit like that. You're right? allowed to have a dumb opinion. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. <laughs> I Was don't... it raising like insurance rates on kids getting sick? No, it's not. <laughs> You're, the new thing now is to get your job. That's everybody. That's why I don't fucking because I hear like a, I a feminist receive death threats via Twitter. Right. I can't... I'd rather have my uh, that than my fuck. I like a nice death threat, please, yes. and not my job threat. Yes, well, yes. Because even... I've seen that happen. I've I've yet to see the Twitter assassination happen. <laughs> We had Michael Shea on, who also had some shit because he made fun of that dumb fucking uh, cat call video. Right. right. Which, but, I mean. Oh, I don't know about making fun of that, Kurt. Go ahead. <laughs> Let's hear. Look, I'll hear you out. But <laughs> that guy. Take me through on what the show. The, what was the actual video? It's like watch what a woman endures for ten hours trying Ugh. to walk through New York City. Yeah. So they get a girl with the fattest ass and tits they can find mm -hmm. and parade her in front of black guys on purpose. Yes. Because the video, they need the video to show how hard it is. So they're not going to take her to Bedford Avenue in Williamsburg. Where they walked up past me three times. Yeah. I was minding my business. <laughs> they went out of their way. Had to say something. <laughs> they went out of their way to make no sure they get a specific reaction and then don't mention it's like, hey, black guys, maybe you should stop. They, it, it's, it's the most like. I don't know, like gutless kind of fucking sure, uh, but so Michael Shea had the nerve to like joke about it, and then like he suddenly like bad guy on Twitter. Do you have to apologize? He, I, don't, uh, I don't see Michael apologizing. I think he did, but uh, like you oh, know, no. he had to sit with Lauren Michael. That's the thing is, you got to go talk to fucking Lauren. Yeah, and then what was his is... angle on it though? I think he said who. I think what, he was, what was like, his joke or angle. It, yeah. it was like he how he gets harassed in the street because he's like you know on Saturday Night Live or something. He's but joking. it was like how dare you equate your problems uh, with what a woman uh, faces? Uh, 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 you know what uh, it's uh, like. Uh, you ever let me look at those lists of like here's 29 things a woman has to go through every, and then like 27 of them are things a man also has to go through. <laughs> like, do you have to think about taking karate because right. you're worried? Yeah, that's literally what a man thinks about. Yes. Nine, nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most of the day, I'm like, I may have to learn karate right now <laughs> in case something, some shit goes down. What about the stuff we have to go through because we don't have tits? Um, right? Yeah. Huh? It's hard. It's, it's hard, hard to live without tits. I hate to be it's the hard. one who sticks up for the ladies, guys, but it's the, hard. They, there is a lot of shit they got to <laughs> put up with. Hard. Like, you know, that, that, sexual sh that sexual shit's a nightmare. By like, way, I'm, anti, to... I'm so anti catcalling, and I think that brown people should stop doing it. I'll say that for <laughs> 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 I say that to Sherrod every time. Listen, I'm glad they yelled at this white bitch walking through <laughs> the hood. Like, you, you, yeah, white bitch. Hey, white bitch, fat ass white bitch. Yeah, it's power. It's well, a power they thing. Really, they didn't go that far, sure. Yeah, they, no, just, I did. Yeah, they told easy. her she looked beautiful. I mean, they weren't like yelling. Yeah, yeah but it was a day when you couldn't even say call. that much to a white woman walking well, through the neighborhood. Or if they walked through your neighborhood in the first place. If you even looked her way... Despite you were going, Sherrod's you were violent language that I don't endorse. So it's, kind of, it's kind of refreshing to see a black he man He has a point, take, though. They, they, half those black liberties. guys, one, didn't know they were doing anything wrong. Two, the other ones are like, remember when you could get hung for talking to a white yes, like enjoy that. those liberties. And they're like, that's what that is. Like, like so just address them. You but know nobody want I mean? to talk about that part no, of no, it. No, no, but that, if, that's, if, if people were just honest about that and said that's what it is, that's cool, but nobody says that's what it is. Nobody want to talk well, about that part Well, here's the ultimate design at the we show, because I'm like, 
like, because it's about threatening catcalling, and I'm like, yeah. if the guy is hot to you, is that threatening? Every woman in the audience, no. So like, we could <laughs> maybe you could add, maybe you don't want like a three talking to a nine, and that's like the but, crux of it. But as a guy, you would you would love women to say something about you as you're walking by. Oh, they actually it. have reverse cat. They go try this. But I don't know if you know comedic genius Jamie Kilstein. He's got a great video. He goes, ladies, try catcalling a guy and watch how confused he gets. No, no guy's upset by being but yeah, catcalling. But that's not equal. You got to have guys catcalling guys. Now, if you walk down the street and a whole bunch of guys are catcalling you, OP, that's true. You're like, now I'm an uncomfortable. And they do. He's looking, he's beautiful. How do they know? He's, he's an adult. Oh, yes. I do it in the morning. That baby face. Well, I put I'm some, like, I put some hey, Ebola baby. jizz on that beard. Fuck yeah. That, that would be annoying. How'd sure. you like to get Ebola yeah. the hard way? <laughs> <laughs> Women do have to put up with that shit. It's annoying. Yeah, I, I think it's fucking awful. I, I've never had the need to yell anything Not at any at all. female. I just silently no. attack. Stare, I silently, well, <laughs> but I let him pass and then stare at their ass like a gentleman does. Yeah, I was like, you can't see me. You get, you get your looks in without being vocal about it. Because it's went, a shitty thing. That's like a little way of, I've never of been leaving your dick on some woman's yeah. shoulder. Like, yeah, it's, you can't say no in my dreams, bitch. Like, <laughs> I, it's I, like uh, the I'm not touching you of rape. I've never been able to do it. No. Not call because it's it's like a low, like low adult, class thing. I waited to go to the university before I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I did it to college girls. I was like, "You thought you got free of this bitch? You got a fat ass going to social studies." Is it a cultural thing? You think? No, it's just young dudes, just, just like fun. the yellow girls. You don't think it's cultural, Gerard? Did you see Greece? They did the same thing in Greece, the movie. Yeah, listen, <laughs> that is true. But that's the that movie is taking place shit. thirty years ago. <laughs> that is true. I, like, Stocker Channing was forty eight when that movie was done, and she got pregnant in it. If you remember, <laughs> ahead, she, she looks like a teenager, real though, like, right? college right. twat right now. But the, like any culture of like pe uh, ch historically oppressed people is like twenty years behind due to those kind of factors, right? So it's like the, like culturally conservative, just like old school like man versus woman shit that happens way more in certain cultures mm. right. because they haven't had like white twit privileges of like I ain't got an education and took gender studies. Right. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's look at this video. Good so point. who's this guy and what are we looking at again? Oh, Jamie. I, let's not give him attention.